Balancing the load for the 80 minute flight from Broome to Fitzroy Crossing. Vital supplies of food, medicine and essential goods are rapidly being delivered to isolated communities, with more than five tonnes arriving in Fitzroy Crossing since Friday, replenishing depleted stocks. But the town's airstrip is still off limits to larger planes. A lot of it was underwater for a number of days. There is still uh, water down the end of the runway, so it's limiting the types of aircraft that, that can go in. A task for smaller aircraft. 850 kilograms of refrigerated food, including hash browns, apple pies and frozen meals, packed into this single-engine plane. In Broome, the community is also rallying to help those in need. Thank you. It's been really good. There's been a lot of people coming and um, donating. The organisers of this donation drive expected to see a few people come past and drop off some clothes and some linen, but they've been pleasantly surprised with people coming all day and a steady stream of helpers. There were two young girls that got airlifted out and they pretty much just had what they had on. So I thought, oh, let's do something. Let's do a donation drive for stuff for the um, affected areas. And it's been amazing. As supplies go in, people are still coming out of the flood zone. More than 230 people have been evacuated from the worst affected areas. But not everyone wants to leave. We're not forcing anybody out. We want to keep people safe. If they are if insisting on saying, then we are providing some, um, you know, some supplies for them. And hopefully the water will be in and out of there in a few days. Rebuilding homes and lives remains a much longer proposition.